Teaching and learning today really needs to look very different than it did 20 to 30 years ago. Today, education needs to be about real-world experiences instead of playing school, which students did many, many years ago. Students need opportunities not only to solve the problems that are already out there, but really to identify what those problems are um, and ask good questions. Today, education is really focused on giving kids real-world, authentic experiences to grow their expertise in whatever their passion might be. So it's really about blurring the lines between subject areas to give them real context to the learning. It's taking the skills that they've gained and making sure that they can apply them to any situation. It's about fabrication. It's about tinkering. It's about making something unique. And it's really about just exploring curiosity that kids might have and getting their hands dirty, making something authentic for them. We'll see a variety of materials such as woodworking, sewing, recycled sculpture, working with the iPad. Students are able to come in and design anything that they want. Our motto is, what would you like to build today? Through the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh, our students connect with experts in classrooms from across the globe, including schools in Brazil and Iran. At the Heinz History Center, Middle school students connect present to past. With the Pittsburgh Galleries Project, students go behind the scenes to learn to curate exhibits with museum mentors. With Pittsburgh Filmmakers, Abmorth hosts an adjudicated student film festival with original narrative, documentary, and animated short films from schools across the region. And the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh has helped to develop a culture of making throughout the district, among other partnerships. These connections are strengthened and supported by regional foundations like the Sprout Fund and the Grable Foundation, both who have done much to help Avonworth and other Pittsburgh area schools remake learning. Schools shouldn't have to be institutional these days. Instead, they should reflect the creative practices that are occurring inside and outside. The CARE space was initially designed to reflect our science curriculum. In third grade, our students work on plant development. Um, fourth grade, our students work on habitats, and in fifth grade, the students are actually using this area to write poetry on nature. Throughout the district, there are creative spaces, both aesthetic and functional, all that exhibit student ownership and what their learning environments look like, sometimes also challenging thoughts in the commonplace. Classrooms and community spaces are designed for collaboration and design thinking, promoting active student-centered learning.